That's big, lads. That is big, man. He's going to be mortaring. What's the crack, lads? Today, we're going to be taking a look at Rafael Leao. Is he a beast or a bust? I mean, he seems to be polarizing a lot of people, including me. But we're going to go through the best skills to give him, the best build for him, and, of course, show you him in-game as well. Let's get it. So, Let's boys, go. you would have seen that we did pack Rafael Leao on the live stream. If you've missed that, I will do a video on it as well to see how many spins it took. But is it worth spinning for Leao? Initially, I thought this guy was going to be an absolute monster. And I thought that I was going to be kind of placing him with Romario in that sphere. But for me, he's been disappointing, man. I don't know. Some people love him, some people hate him. Let me know in the comments below if he's a beast or a boss for you. I do feel like that the two builds I'm going to give you will kind of determine what type of player you want him to be in your squad. Because I was initially looking at him and thinking, this guy is a monster, man. He's going to be the next, you know, sweaty meta type player that a lot of people are going to be using. And for me, even though he only takes 100,000 XP, which is the normal 98,000 XP, I just feel like there's something missing about him. Like, it depends, right? I'll be honest. If you play a lot of possession-based football and you play a lot of dribbling, I don't think Leao is going to shine for you. But if you play direct and you play very kind of narrow football, which is obviously a different play style, if you're going to play long ball quick counter or long ball or quick counter or long ball counter, if you play to Leao's strengths, he is basically like a souped up prime version of Cristiano Ronaldo in Pez 2016. That's how he plays, right? If you go way back. Or even the earlier, earlier edition of the club pack Cristiano Ronaldo. In these areas, once you get the ball to feet, it's literally turn and bang. It's in the bottom corner, it's in the top of the net. It doesn't really matter. He's good in the air. He can, you know, hit it on the bounce. He can do a lot of skills. He's very, very good. But also, he is clunky. He's definitely more clunky than the small, nimble, nimble players like Romario, which we'll see in a second. And I also think that's because of his height, his physique, and his running style, his motion style. So that's something that kind of Konami have done a lot in the last couple of months, is they've made kind of the bigger players, such as Haaland and them. They might have brilliant speed stats, but they're a bit clunky. And you'll see this with Romario. Watch when Romario gets the ball here. He's just like a hot knife through Butterman. You can't stop him. He's skipping over challenges, left stick dribbling, taking off the acceleration and then powering it back on to trigger different animations when you're going past players' legs. Romario, in my opinion, is the best player in the game, um, but that's just me. For some people, Rafael Leao will be it. So that's the build that we've gone for. 9 into shooting, 10 into dribbling, 12 into dexterity, and 2 into lower body, and 1 into aerial strength. Now, I'm going to show you a different build. This build that we have here is a center forward or a left winger that's going to be cutting in and shooting a lot. He's not really an all-rounder because of the stamina and because of a no nothing into his low pass. I would like that low pass at 85 and also with his physical contact at the base 82. I would prefer a different, more all-rounded kind of version of him that when the player reset comes, I'll probably do the video or I'll probably do the training guide or the build at the end of this video. We also threw on him flip flap now he does have by off the rip and by default straight off the bat he has super sub but he also has double touch and of course he has soul control now we're going to give him a legacy transfer here which i definitely recommend you guys give him flip flap one touch pass if a player doesn't have it on every single player is going to be a bonus right but i do feel that ball roll for Leao. It will free him up a little bit on the wings if you are a very possession-based player. That you are just able to rinse people. And he's got high speed, he's got high acceleration. He'll be able to get away from tackles very, very, very nice. So we did that legacy transfer. Obviously, a bit of luck comes into that, whether you roll for flip-flap or you know whatever skill you want. But we did end up giving that to him. Now, as I said in the start of the video, if you play layout to his strengths, direct line running, not really nimble turns or not really cutting in, uh, you can actually beast with him if you play him. I was playing him on the left wing. Passing wise with this build, as you're seeing here, even though the passing is a little bit busted, I feel like that this build is not really where it's at. This is kind of what you want. And this is the second build that I'm going to show you here. This type of build here is what you want. You want him to be cutting in. Now, obviously with these clips, we have kind of like shown different versions of him um, and different clips of it. But it's all about just getting on into those areas. So this is the final build that we've gone for here. If we were going looking to have him as our kind of all-rounder, kind of left midfielder, left winger, which I think he's probably best suited as. I don't think he's suited as a focal point because of his player style. I don't think he's suited because of his like dribbling style. I feel like Romario or somebody like Michael Owen or Eto'o or a more natural goal poacher or Fox in the Box is better as a CF. 
but that is the build that I think is the most all-rounder version of Liao. But let me know what you guys think. I will be back very, very, very soon. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, yeah, we will talk to you in a bit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and we will talk to you in a bit.